All right, today what I'm going to show you is what I call sticky notes. Now, you might have a different name for them, um, and there are many different ways to make these. But um, one thing that I, I found a little frustrating when I started when I started to use OneNote is the inability to add a, a sticky note like you you know you have a post-it note or whatever you're sticking on your paper because it seems like every time you, know, you have some text and then you go to, to type and you want to put something over it so say for example you want to insert maybe even a table over it it puts a table inside of it and so what what I was trying to experiment with and, and finally I came up with this idea and I'm sure there are other ideas uh, similar to this is how to create a sticky note uh, and here I have one made, and we're going to go back and make this. But where you can actually drag it over top of your text to put a little note, just like you would if you had some a handwritten note or, or a typewritten note that you've printed out, and you have a post-it note over it. So we're going to quickly go through this, but I have the, uh, the steps outlined right up here. Okay, so what I suggest is that you find a blank area. So we're going to click in here. We're going to insert a one-by-one -one table. And then we're going to title it Get of Sticky Note 1. Highlight it, right click, go to Table to Shading. And then I typically use something bright. So the point I, I want to emphasize is this, is that you, you want to use the table shading rather than just the highlight. If you just use this, the, the highlight, and then you start to put other text after it, it's not highlighted. Whereas if you go to table shading and pick your highlight, you'll see that it shades the entire section there. Hit enter. And again, you're going to have that color carried over. So if you don't want it to carry over, insert another table before that. But in this case, we're going to keep that. We're going to do another one by one table. And we're going to have this. I'm going to expand this slightly so that it's in there. And we're going to say add text here. And so in this case here, we're going to start the, the changes. So again, we're going to highlight this area, table, shading. And I always pick something darker so that it just really is, is distinct from the body of the text. And then since we have this highlight, we're going to highlight this. Or if I would have kept it highlighted, it would have been easier. We're going to go to colors or font to colors just pick white at this point and then now I'm just going to expand this table just in there you'll see that it works itself around and you might want to center this to make it nice and simple and if you add any more text here it will carry all that formatting down so you have something that's nice and neat so you have the original color bordered around this text here you'll see that the, the color there and then we have this darker and a nice piece of it is I can now drag this over anywhere in my body of my text and it's not going to interfere in the sense that it doesn't become part of it uh, whereas if you would click down here and you try to insert a table to make a a sticky note and you go to insert and you do table um, you have a table in here, and you can't move it around, or at least it doesn't want to move very easy. Let's put it that way. So I've just found that this is the a very simple way of making a sticky note, and you can make a variety of them. In fact, what you might want to do to make it very, very simple is, say, for example, um, you, you want to pre-make them. And so you just take this here, you copy, and let's put this over here. And we have a variety of them, and so then we could just literally make one bring it back over and then move around it just change the body of text and don't have to do it over and over again so again this is something that I do so starting from the beginning again find a blank space on your page then go to your insert and insert a table again I always start with one by one that's what I use here and then go from there and then once you build one, and it, you might have a few different sticky notes. You might even have a, if you're working on a document or something, you might have something that actually is a, a page filled with different size sticky notes or different uh, configurations. But I typically will do this and have, have it set up in this manner, and I could drag them all around. Um, again, you could click on this, you could do copy, and you could paste, and you can move, and you can have a whole, whole different selection of them, and you can edit it at will. So... 
Again, this is my version of a sticky note or, or what some will call post-it notes if you're having on paper. Um, I hope this helps. Um, check back for more tips and tricks from Dr. Frank in Computer Magic. Thank you.